My Hero Academia has lots of issues that no one mentions. The worst part is that people accept that other series denounce their premise, but not My Hero Academia. Betrayed by the thesis, Black Clover had a lot of topics that Naruto also failed to display. Naruto is incompetent, but with the help of something only he has, he's the most robust ninja alive. Similar to that, Asta is given the most intense power because he's lucky. It's not about using your intelligence to fill your lack of strength, but instead being fortunate enough to be endowed with the mightiest powers. What do you know, My Hero Academia has the same issues. I almost dropped My Hero Academia. On episode 4, Deku helps Uraraka, and I laughed the entire time. Like, she digs herself out of the rubble to help Deku, but why didn't she do it before to get away? I mean, she had enough strength to escape from the rocks, tag a robot to move, and then slap Deku to stop him from dying. Did she do it to troll Deku? If not, she was lucky she had one interaction with him, and he was the only one who would save her. Don't tell me that her interaction didn't have anything to do with whether he would rescue her or not. On the first episode, Bakugo is saved by Deku, but doesn't attempt to protect the people who get attacked by the villain. If it were because of being heroic, he wouldn't even have to consider Uraraka. Where were all the teachers? They were watching. Weren't they? If our protagonist couldn't stop the villain, or if Uraraka never slapped Deku, who would come to aid them? As if that weren't enough, they also had secret hero points for people that saved others. Hero points wouldn't be an issue if they just told the students. What's the point in not telling them? I get that you're trying to get people who do heroic things to continue what they're doing by encouraging it with points, but wouldn't it be more successful if you just told them? It would start everybody off with healthy habits of saving people and promote heroism more. You do want students to do good things, right? Or is this just because of plot armor? Is it just me that doesn't see anything heroic about our characters? It just seems like they're in school plainly to be there unless because they want to save people. Look at Bakugo, Todoroki, or even the frog thing. Do these characters look like they want to be heroes? The answer is no. No, they don't. Bakugo mentions that Deku can't be in the same ring as him, which doesn't make any sense. I mean, does he know what he's going to do for a living? It sure isn't boxing. He's a bad guy because he doesn't like that Deku tries to do something he's unable to do? He thinks Deku is looking down on him because of one time in their childhood that he helped him get back up when he fell? I get why he was angry at Deku, but why does he still think he's correct after all these years? Is he incapable of seeing nothing wrong with being so far up your rear that you intentionally go out of your way to destroy the dreams of a disabled kid? Grr, I'm the villain and I'm angry at Deku for trying to accomplish his dreams which he'll never accomplish. By the way, don't get in the same music studio as me. I have to say that the fights were pretty engrossing. The only issue I had was the one against Deku and Bakugo. My only gripe is that the results were a little more than nonsense. Sure, Deku knew the floor above was where he had to attack, but that was it. What if he attacked Uraraka or even the enemy and his target? Deku directed Uraraka to move towards the pillar, but how does he know that it exists up above him? What, is he aware of the support extending to the floor above him? Does he know that it doesn't stop rising? How would he even know that he could move his hands upward so furiously that he would break the infrastructure? Sure, he hit a giant robot, but a robot at that size would collapse on itself from its weight. So Deku had some help. Even with all this in mind, if that was the case, what was the point of running away from Bakugo? All he had to do after he got away from Bakugo was get where he needed to go and fire upwards. Bakugo can't attack a broken Deku, and they'd already have won before he gets to Deku. It's not nearly as improvised as Uraraka says it is. It's brilliant and omnipotent of our main character. What's wrong with All Might? When Bakugo breaks the windows, that's a no-go. When Deku breaks the windows and breaks a hole into each floor, that's fine? No points subtracted. What? Even though I have all these issues with My Hero Academia, it was alright. I wouldn't say it was good, but it's slightly better than mediocre.